Good morning, Washington. <laughs> How y'all doing, everybody? It's the 11th of February, 2012. I'm actually getting the year right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had a breakfast sandwich there. We can still taste it in my beard <laughs> a couple hours ago. Um, how y'all doing, everybody? Got some interesting stuff for you today. Uh, if you uh, get the uh, weekend Washington Post, this is the technically the Sunday, uh, what is it, that little frigging little tabloidy entertainment -y thing they put in there, the styly Sunday style, but it comes on Saturdays. A piece there from Mark Fisher on uh, the new WNEW. And the great big DC radio news wall. <laughs> uh, nothing terribly earth shattering in Mark's piece. Um, he, you know, he kind he kind of goes to say that uh, you know WNEW and CBS aren't really going to be doing anything new. They're just going to probably you know send a torpedo at WTOP and you know pretty much do the same thing. Uh, the money, the money quote, I guess, <laughs> is a. Uh, Quote, WNEW1 by CBS does not propose to add deeper or smarter content to Washington's news diet. Rather, it seems designed mainly to carve off a chunk of WTOP's massive revenue, the highest in the nation, delivering more uh, to the corporate bottom line than, say, just another music station. Da, 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 da. Um, you know, he compares the two stations and, uh, I mean, you know, basically, the, I guess the thing is, you know, CBS is just going to be happy to steal away a small chunk of WTOP's audience this year. Maybe expand it, you know, do some more things next year. But you know, they're not doing any. I don't hear any advertising. They're not. They're not. You know, putting ads in the paper. They're not running ads on TV for WNEW. Just kind of a relatively low key launch. You know, a couple write ups in the papers. But uh, interesting there. Interesting. I do think. Uh, you know, I think if CBS is really, in, as I've said before, again and again and again, if they're really interested in um, getting some serious ratings for the station, they're going to have to do a few things on the station that TOP really isn't doing, like some features or something that, you know, might get people really uh, clued in, like maybe a local media report. <laughs> Hi, here's Dave Hughes on WNEW, and now here's the news. Oh, huge sex scandal at WTOP. <laughs> WTOP reporter caught with his pants down in the glass enclosed nerve center. More on WNEW coming up. Yeah, well, I could do that. I could do it. No. <laughs> oh, it's fun, fun, fun. So a friend gave me a uh, gift card. My you know, as I like to, my birthday was this past week. Gave me a gift card to Barnes and Noble. So I, I don't know. I went out and bought a couple magazines that I don't normally buy. Uh, I know I'm a radio geek. But I, I often just read these on the newsstand and just put them back. You know, Monitoring Times is a great magazine. You know, got a lot of uh, radio geekish stuff in here. But gosh, it's seven dollars. And if, if I was in Canada, it still would be seven dollars. And uh, popular pop com, which I've read since I was a kid, love this. You know, just got a lot of cool stuff. I know a bunch of you know. I'm sure this is the the target audience for this are guys in their fifties. You know, who used to listen to Top 40 Radio back when they were kids. But <laughs> it's nice It's nice to have a, a nice old friend. Um, so anyhow, I'm, I'm coming home yesterday, and I noticed this humongous package <laughs> at my door. Like, what the hell? And I'm like, oh, God, what is this? And uh, I noticed on it, it's got a Channel 50 uh, return address. So what, what the heck is Channel 50 sending me? So I, you know, rip this thing open, and in it is a black bag, and <laughs> 2012 Living Black History, Channel 50 WDCW, okay, and then I reach in here, and this is heavy, by the way, this is really heavy, and what do they send me? A, ha a real hammer, I mean, this is a real hammer, look at this, I mean, it's a nice one, too. <laughs> Uh, Black History and the Dream Begins Here, WDCW Channel 50. Tribune spent a lot of money. Oh, they sent me a really nice hammer here. This is really nice. I mean, I have a hammer, <laughs> but I have another one now. <laughs> what can I do with this? Mm, nom, nom, nom. Mm. 
Mm. But anyhow, a uh, nice little press packet here for, uh, what else is in here? Oh, a nice little letter here from uh, Jim Byrne, the product, the promotion director. Hello, Dave. Our new special, The Dream Began Here, airs Sunday, February 12th. That's tomorrow, okay? Sunday, February 12th at 3 p.m. It's still in final production. When it's done, I will send you a copy. It's going to be rebroadcast on Sunday, February 26th at 2 p.m. Thanks, Jim Bird. Okay, so there you go. That's kind of an odd time. Sunday, who's going to be, who's you know, with football gone, who actually sitting around watching television at 3 p.m. on a Sunday? But I don't know. Uh, but anyhow, so it's a nice little press packet here on it. And a... Uh, and a DVD, so or CD, DVD, yeah. So I will have to. Uh, but anyhow, some good stuff coming up on the station, as you can see there. They've got Howard. Well, they did already did the Howard University one. They are going to be doing uh, gospel music. Then they do the Living Black History, and then uh, Know Your Heritage Black College Quiz, uh, and some other things. So there we go. That's on Channel Fifty, uh, which is. On Comcast, anyway, 803 <laughs> in the D.C. area. Uh, I'd like to thank thank Jim for the hammer. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, anyhow, I'm sitting around, you know, uh, looking at some of these websites. And here's the good old Fishbowl D.C. I just have to say, you know, what a sad sight. What a truly sad sight. You know, you got to look at some of the stuff on that they're doing here. If I can get this uh, lined up here. Up, up, up. I can never do this right. Up, 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 up. Separated at birth. You know, what do they got here? No comments. One person tweeted it. Uh, some gay GOP candidate at CPAC. No comments. No tweets. Uh, big, big, long, goofy interview with some Shark Tank guy. One comment. No tweets. Uh, uh, another article here, this, I don't know why they keep doing this, not Harry and Louise. It was marginally funny the first time and they just keep beating it to death. And likewise, no comments, one tweet, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, the daily caller again, they love to write about the daily caller as if everybody in the whole Washington media market just wants to know more and more about the daily caller and Tucker Carlson, uh, zero comments, one tweet. Uh, you know, uh, stupid stuff. And there's Cinny Simpson, Cinny Cinnabon Simpson there. Uh, uh, you know, s again, no comments, two tweets. You know, it's boring. It's, it's Nobody cares about this stuff. It's really dull. Uh, you know, they really ought to just get rid of Betsy Rothstein. She's been a failure. She's been there for a couple years. Just dumb stuff, mostly. You know, the only the only time they can get any traffic to that website is when they get a you know a drudge link and what what Fishbowl DC does is they just they, they write these like puff pieces about drudge. You know, oh it's Drudge's birthday. Oh it's isn't Drudge wonderful? You know, and then they get a little link. You know, like earlier in this week when uh, that um, Roland Martin or whatever. You know, even though the Washington Post's Eric Wemple had the story first, Fishbowl DC gets a short little blurb up a couple minutes later. They weren't even first with it, and then they get a link from Drudge, and they get a bunch of hundred. Even and even even with a Drudge link, they don't get that many comments. You know, I mean, good lord, they get a hundred comments or something from a Drudge link. I mean, you know, all the crazy writings that should write in, they should get thousands and thousands. Sad. I think, uh, you know, Fishbowl DC, I really do think it needs a complete makeover. I need, think they need to get rid of Betsy Rothstein. Uh, I think she would be good working for um, maybe a mini mart at a gas station. I think that's a job that, no, that's a job that Betsy should have. <laughs> oh, okay. What? <laughs> All right, folks, that's Dave TV for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. And uh, don't forget to tune into that uh, Black History special here on Channel 50 at uh, 3 o'clock on Sunday. And I'm going to be watching with my hammer. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, so there.